Christmas Brad again. That's right. That's what's supposed to happen. Great show. Carl here Albrick is here. Steve Goody's got some great stuff. Patty Vasquez, I wish I was there. I'm flying in a plane right now, trying to take sips uh, under my mask before I get caught, which is for some reason why I have the mustache on. So, okay, here we go. So <laughs> the Sturgis rally is going on as we speak. 800,000 bikers, no masks, few vaccines. Uh, on the bright side though, in a couple months, there's gonna be a huge sale on used Harley. <laughs> 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 Okay. By the way, uh, here's uh, up to the minute news. On September 24th, 2182, the Bennu asteroid may hit the Earth and cause amazing devastation in 2182. Of course, researchers have said not to worry because there won't be humans on the earth because of climate change in 2082. So so by the time we get to 2182, it'll just be a Keith Richards problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, did you see China is cracking down on any democracy protesting uh, and cracking down on Hong Kong citizens looking for freedom? Uh, but now they are cracking down and banning uh, any songs that violate the national unity in karaoke bars. Uh, <laughs> so that's right. They're monitoring all tone deaf singers for any religious songs, gambling <laughs> references, cult tunes, or obscenity. The ban will hit uh, the Kenny Rogers catalog the most. Okay. Some actual songs that have been banned in the past. One, I Love Taiwanese Girls has been banned. And also <laughs> Beijing Hooligans, also banned. Uh, oddly though, I Love Beijing Girls and Taiwanese Hooligans are just fine to sing. So <laughs> switch those up. Uh, the biggest penalties uh, you can get is you get a two year sentence if you uh, don't ironically say that Kid Rock is a cowboy baby. <laughs> uh, Florida Governor DeSantis today asked Florida residents to review their disaster plans. Did you see this? He said, review your disaster plans. Uh, news outlets are reporting that Tropical Storm Fred is headed to the state. Uh, the governor said, there's a hurricane? I meant all my plans have been a disaster. You should review yours. Because <laughs> people are dying. Okay. It's been a long night and I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> hey, after 80 years, a Batman's chum Robin will stop being the boy wonder and start wondering which boys to date. Did you see that? Yes, Bruce Wayne's <laughs> ward is coming out as bi in a new anthology comic uh, where after he rescues a male friend from a villain, he then accepts a date from the friend in his civilian identity. Uh, to which the male friend says, wait, I thought we agreed you'd wear the suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, civilian Robin's not hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, did you see, oh, hey, quickly moving on. Uh, the new full-time host of Primetime Jeopardy is uh, Mayim Bialik. Bialik. How do you say her name? Bialik. Uh, awesome. You know her, she starred as Blossom and Amy Farrell Fowler on The Big Bang and as a doctorate in neuroscience from UCLA, there were congratulations, but also angry words from mega fans of LeVar Burton, who thought the Star Trek generation, next generation star should have been given the job. Uh, many made the point, mock knock as gosh, do mock knock, which is Klingon for Nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a big win for the Biden administration. The $1.1 trillion infrastructure bill got a lot of bipartisan report in the Senate. Uh, one focus of the bill will be to create electric vehicle charging stations in rural areas, disadvantaged communities, and across highways, on highways across the U.S. This was a major win for the spray paint and graffiti lobby. Because <laughs> <laughs> the car's have to sit there. 30 minutes. Okay, Tesla. Do, 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 do. Up. M&M. 
uh, is apologizing to Rihanna after he said, Rihanna, where'd you get the DD at during a rap Sorry. verse? He also <laughs> said that he sided with violent abuser Chris Brown, who viciously assaulted the umbrella singer. Uh, Eminem, which I don't know if you know this, is Latin for enema, uh, <laughs> might be feeling a little pressure to suck up as Rihanna recently became a billionaire. Hmm. And is one of the most respected artists and businesswomen in the world, whereas Chris Brown and Marshall Mathers are about as relevant as a Milli Vanilli tribute band. No! <laughs> so going down. Oh, and back to Florida real quick. Florida is begging the federal government for hundreds more ventilators. And not because the state is overrun with dying, unvaccinated COVID patients. No, 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 no. Uh, Governor DeSantis assured us that Pitbull needs them as beatboxes at his clubs. <laughs> they, they sound really good. Uh, do, do. Oh, hey, the OAN network is being sued for 1.6 billion by Dominion voting machines. One charge using fake experts. Uh, one OAN election expert was Ed Solomon, touted as a mathematician who declared it was mathematically impossible for Joe Biden to win, but didn't. Uh, what didn't add up was his biography. In reality, Solomon is a swing set installer and an alleged convicted drug dealer. <laughs> Where was this guy during all my press conferences, said Rudy Giuliani. Because <laughs> he got bad people. Oh, YouTube has banned Rand Paul for seven days for posting anti-mask videos based on false information. But he disagrees, saying the information comes from as reputable a place as where he got his doctorate. And if you draw <laughs> Tippy the Turtle, you can be a doctor too. <laughs> Tippy the Turtle. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I'm gonna give you because we have such a great show. Great music, we've got Carla Albert, we've got Steve Goody. Hey, Steve, do that top 10, what do you think?